Hello, FX Limit family. Today, we're diving into the world of Forex trading and exploring the Moving Average Envelopes Indicator. This tool is a game changer for traders looking to identify potential overbought and oversold levels. But as with any trading tool, it's crucial to understand its ins and outs to make the most of it. So, let's get started. First off, let's talk about what moving average envelopes are. Simply put, this indicator involves two moving averages that create a band around the price action of a currency pair. These bands are set a fixed percentage above and below a moving average. The moving average itself can be of any type, simple, exponential, or weighted, and the choice depends on your trading style and the specific market conditions. Now, the key consideration when using this indicator is setting the right percentage for the envelopes. This percentage determines the width of the bands and it's crucial because it affects how often the price will touch or cross the bands. Set it too narrow, and you'll get a lot of false signals. Too wide, and you might miss out on valuable trading opportunities. The ideal setting varies depending on the volatility of the currency pair and the overall market conditions. Another important aspect is the choice of the moving average period. This will define how sensitive your envelopes are to recent price changes. A shorter moving average period will make the envelopes react faster to price movements. But again, this might lead to false signals. A longer period will smooth out the price action, reducing the noise but potentially delaying the signals. When the price touches or crosses the upper envelope, it could indicate an overbought condition, suggesting that the currency pair might be priced too high and a reversal could be imminent. Conversely, when the price hits or dips below the lower envelope, it could signal an oversold condition, indicating that the pair might be undervalued and poised for an upward correction. But, and this is a big but, don't rush to make a trade as soon as the price hits these envelopes. Why? Because in strong trending markets, the price can hug or run along the envelope bands for an extended period. This is where combining the moving average envelopes with other indicators, like the Relative Strength Index, RSI, or Stochastic Oscillator, can be extremely beneficial. These additional tools can help confirm whether the touch or breach of the band is a true reversal signal or just a temporary blip. Another pro tip is to watch for crossovers. When the price crosses the moving average within the envelopes, it could signal a potential change in trend direction. This crossover can provide an additional layer of confirmation, especially when combined with other indicators and analysis techniques. Now, let's talk about timeframes. The effectiveness of moving average envelopes can vary significantly across different timeframes. Day traders might prefer shorter timeframes, like 15-minute or 1-hour charts, while swing traders might look at 4-hour or daily charts. The key is to find the time frame that aligns with your trading strategy and stick to it. Last but not least, always remember risk management. No indicator is foolproof, and the moving average envelopes are no exception. Always use stop-loss orders to protect your trades, and never risk more than a small percentage of your trading capital on a single trade. In summary, the moving average envelopes are a powerful tool in your Forex trading arsenal. By understanding how to set the right percentage for the bands, choosing the appropriate moving average period, combining them with other indicators, and sticking to your risk management rules. You can use this tool to identify potential overbought and oversold levels effectively. That's all for today's episode on FX Limit. I hope this gives you a clearer understanding of how to use moving average envelopes in your Forex trading. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, try this out on a demo account before going live. Happy trading, and see you in the next video.